blood flow, we lose lubrication. And we women need our lubrication and we need a lot of blood flow to our vaginal tissue to keep it plumped up so that it's, it's turgid and in good health so that we don't have painful sex. And we men, we also need blood flow for them for their erectile function. So men and women have the same amount of erectile tissue inside our genitals. Everybody knows that men have erectile dysfunction and they need more blood flow, which is what a Viagra, Levitra, Cialis can do through pharmaceutical uh, means. But a man can top up his nitric oxide system naturally and often not even have to use a PTE5 inhibitor. Same with a woman. She has the same amount of erectile tissue in her. I like to call it her yoni. <clears throat> yoni is a pretty word for a woman's vulva and, and her genital area. Uh, yoni is a, a Hindu word. And I just think it's a very pretty word. And the uh, commensurate word for the man is lingam. And I think that's a nice word for a penis is a lingam. So she's got all this erectile tissue, but it's not getting any blood flow. And so then what happens, both the penis and the vagina, the tissue in both of those systems, it atrophies. As early as your 40s, you're atrophying. And the, the saddest part of the atrophying is that as his penis gets smaller with tissue loss, her vagina gets bigger, more open, wider, and looser mm. with tissue loss. So then as an older couple, you've got his penis is smaller, her vagina is bigger, you're not getting the grip you used to get. And so the pleasure diminishes. As well, many older men and older women have sensation loss. They have trouble achieving climax mm. because of sensation loss. What does it do? It all goes back to blood flow. It's blood flow, blood flow, blood flow. That's the thing. You know, that's an interesting component because that's exactly how I talk about Chinese medicine in that the healing properties of the body travel in the blood. So, you know, for the, the vitality and longevity, it can be fertility or, you know, basically the um, sexual intimacy, they're linked, right? And, you know, you know, I know you coach couples and uh, individuals on, you know, actually reviving their sex lives and their intimacy and their passion up into their 70s, 80s, and 90s, right? Oh, yes. In the uh, 90s, yes. Yeah. So it is possible. You know, I think a lot of folks kind of just chalk up aging as, well, I'm just getting old or that's the way it is, or that's what it looks like when I get there. Resist. You know, that's what, you know, it's, <laughs> I, I'm not going into agreement with any of those statements, but I Agreed. know there's that common thought process of, well, that's what we see. Yeah. And, and that's one of the big components of why I wanted to start this podcast, What the Health, and have experts such as yourself on here is to provide some different realities. And these are realities, folks. So, you know, listen up. So we're talking sexual biohacking and blood flow, blood flow, blood flow. And that goes for all longevity component and your health and wellness in, a, in addition to genitalia and the, the yoni and the lingam. <laughs> well, and one of the things that's beautiful about traditional Chinese medicine is that thousands of years before allopathic medicine, the TCM practitioners understood that gas was one of the most important functions. You know, when you talk about uh, the gaseous signaling molecule, that's nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is actually a gas that makes your veins and capillaries dilate and move the blood around, you know, to your belly when you've had a meal, to your brain when you're doing a work project, to your genitals when you're making love. And if you lose nitric oxide, which you do as you age, Yep. then you don't have the ability to send the blood where it needs to go. So for women, women struggle with lubrication, which is blood flow. It's a blood flow issue because women don't have any, um, it's, there's no glands that lubricate the vaginal mucosa. What happens is your blood plasma is recruited to the vaginal mucosal area and the fluid seeps in through the vaginal mucosa to lubricate the vagina. So when a woman is feeling tissue loss and she's feeling lack of lubrication and she's getting incontinence or she's getting, uh, and this 
goes for men as well, uh, issues with urination, whether it's UTIs or getting up at night and peeing too many times, often that's a lack of nitric oxide being a, going into all of the urethral system. So blood flow is so, so important and vastly overlooked, especially for women. So, okay, what can you do when you're atrophying and he's atrophying? Well, this is this goes back to hashtag quarantine self-care, okay. which is there are devices that you can use. Do it yourself, DIY, penile and vaginal restoration. For the masculine, the vacuum erection device, commonly called a penis pump. There's a particular brand that I that I like and recommend. It's called the Whopper. And that's because it both helps with length, reestablishing penile volume, both in length and girth. It has a gauge on it that lets you see how much vacuum you're using so you don't over pump. And if you pump every other day by pulling blood through a vacuum uh, uh, surrounding the penis, you vacuum pulls the blood from your body into your penis that increases the blood flow back into the tissue and does little tiny bits of micro damage that your body then recruits your healing factors to do tissue repair just like pumping up your bicep you're hmm. doing tiny little micro damage to that bicep <laughs> tissue yeah. and then it gets bigger because your body repaired it that's exactly what a vacuum erection device or penis pump, the Whopper or others does for the penis. It gets that blood flow going back in, in a really robust way to the penis and increases blood carrying capacity. So while he's pumping with his vacuum erection device every other day, giving a day of rest, just like when you work out, you don't work out every day, you do your heavy weights, and then you do your rest. You don't want too much inflammation there. Right. You yeah. want it low, slow, easy, but you're constantly increasing your blood carrying capacity back to what it was when you were young. It builds new tissue and new vascularization. And yeah. it also gives you sensation back that you may have lost from all those capillaries receding as your nitric oxide was waning. So that's what he can do. And, and I always think if a couple does these things together while they're watching television, yeah. then you're really doing a good job of self-care of your genitalia so you can go on to have a really robust sex life for the rest of your life. So for her, there's a device that I really like. It's called the V-Fit. And it's <laughs> essentially a, I used to tell women that the only thing that they could do is go and get CO2 laser treatments or RF device treatments in, you know, with, with a doctor, but now there's a DIY device that is essentially a, a small device that goes intravaginally. And um, I'm showing you, Greg, I'm showing this to you because you can see me. I'll just describe it to everyone for you. But essentially what it does is it has a vibration. You can hear it. It's yep. not for sexual pleasure. It's for Kegels. But the vibration is like a Kegel toner and it gets warm so that it recollagenates the vaginal mucosa. You insert this into your vagina and then the red light therapy does mitochondrial stimulation. It actually increases the vaginal mucosal lining thickness. And if you do this every other day for three to eight weeks, you can do things like increase engorgement and blood flow, reverse incontinence, increase lubrication, and get re reduce laxity and increase vaginal tone so you can keep your grip. So you're reversing the issues. You're reversing the loss of blood flow with the penis pump. You're getting new vascularization and increasing pleasure and sensation. With the V-Fit Plus, you're Incre you're getting the tone, the tightening, you've got your grip back, you've got lubrication back, and it helps with incontinence, which most women deal with both stress and urge incontinence as they age. 
Yeah, that's huge. And I was going to ask about the incontinence component when you showed the device. So it's that's such a huge thing for a lot of the women that I see in the practice uh, in that, that, you know, they're asking those questions. And, you know, up to this point, we would do, OK, we'll do kegels. But to have the infrared and uh, the stimulation there as well, um, that's phenomenal. Yes. So he's pumping and she's got her V-Fit in. And they're doing it at the same time, lying in bed, talking, enjoying each other. And it's removing any stigma around, a, you know, sexual biohacking. This is, these are anti-aging devices that keep your genitals pumped full of blood and lots of lubrication. They help with incontinence. They help with midnight peeing problems and all of the things that happen as we age. Add flow, my blood flow supplement or anybody's. Yes. I like mine because it's an organic fruit yeah. and vegetable ingredients. And if you look out there, most of the stuff is made in a big vat from corn syrup, frankly. Yeah. That's what it's made from. It's got pesticides in it, et cetera. So I like mine because I made mine because I didn't want people to have to take something that had GMO modified pesticide laden ingredients. That's awesome. Um, How long are those yeah. sessions when you're talking about couples doing that together? Yeah. Um, is it like 20 minutes that they're using those or? Yeah, 10 minutes for the V-Fit. Yeah. And uh, 10 minutes for the first cylinder of the Whopper. And there's two cylinders. Uh, one does length and one does girth. So you can mm. get the entire penile volume replaced that you used to have. You know, a lot of guys write to me and they say, you know, I used to be six and a half inches and now I'm five and three quarters, you know? And so the problem is you lose length and girth and all the things, a lot of guys say, you know, oh, I tried, I tried pumping and it didn't work well. First of all, you probably bought piece of junk from an adult store you didn't know you didn't follow direction didn't know how what you were doing you didn't yeah. know how you didn't have a vacuum gauge you weren't doing length and girth you know there's a lot of you know almost everything out there is junk yeah uh that's why i like the whopper it's a medical you know quality Agreed. device it's sold sure. through do these both these devices are sold through doctor's offices um but you can also just google it you can find the whopper and the v fit if you go to joylux.com slash susan they allow me to give uh, a really nice vaginal moisturizing solution that they make called revitalize her with your order so you can you can you can buy it or you can buy it and get a revitalizer if you just do slash Susan Joy Lux J O Y L U X dot com. Cool. Uh, slash Susan. And then for the pump, it's pumping guide G U I D E dot com that tells you exactly how to do it so that you get the maximum gains and you don't hurt yourself. Because guys, you know what they'll do. They'll be like, I can take it. I'll just go to a level 11, you know, and then they hurt <laughs> right. themselves. Right? right. I mean, this is how guys are. So I'm always like the one thing you have to promise me if you're going to use the vacuum erection devices, you follow the instructions because you'll, there's this little, I'm from Pennsylvania and we have a lot of Amish in the area and they have this funny little saying, the hurrier I go, the behinder I get. <laughs> which is, you know, when you try to get it, you, when you try to make it go faster, you're actually slowing yourself down. So doing it to the protocol that we've developed gives you the most gains. A lot of guys, they say, I get out of the shower and I catch, I catch a glance of myself in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, I can't even believe it's me. Hmm. I've helped thousands of men feel comfortable and they trust me. And when I tell them this will work, they're like, all right, I'm going to take your word for it. And I'm going to follow your directions. <laughs> and uh, they write to me and they're like, holy cow. It's, uh, I've never been more, you know, strong and firm and confident. And I'm so happy I trusted you. And so I really love being able to get these things, you know, out of a dark room and yeah. into the light as self-care, as sexual biohacking, as DIY sexual biohacking. Because if you tell people, look, there's things you can do. You don't, like you said, you don't have to just succumb to age. I refuse. I, I refuse to succumb to age. I'm 59 in uh, next month. And, you know, I'm having the best sex of my life, not in the last two months, because I've had what we think is probably coronavirus. I yes. haven't been tested. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> but I've been very ill. And, you know, when you don't feel yeah. well, you know, yeah. but I've been using my V-Fit because that is an easy thing to do to stay, you know, stay good. Stay fit. 
I had yeah. a guy write to me and he said, uh, I'm blind and I just lost my wife a few months ago and I'm marrying my grief counselor. And um, she hasn't been with a man for over 15 years. And she's afraid that her vagina is kind of like shut, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, I haven't been able to be with my wife because she was ill for many years and I've got erectile dysfunction and I want to make love to my wife on our wedding night. What can I do? And I said, I told him about the V fit for her. Yeah. To get her, you know, going again, get her rejuvenated. And I told him about the pump. And the good news is that with some training, even if he can't see the gauge, he can do it by feel. Yeah. So he'll still be able to do it. And uh, so I'm waiting to hear back. He's 76 and she's 62, I think. Wow. And um, I'm just can't wait for the wedding night story. I know <laughs> it's going to be so good. You know, yeah. it's, just, it's wonderful to be able to help people to have the intimacy that they want to have. Yeah. That's amazing. You know, it, it's, it is that, that kind of heart connection, the passion and the intimacy that is involved with that. Um, it, it is really, that's amazing. That's great work for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, what, um, so you had another, were those the two devices that you were talking about? So on the, so on sexual regenerative therapy. So, yeah. and I know we've touched a little bit on that in the past, but wondering, you know, what's, what's your thoughts, what's going on now, any latest, greatest component um, or, and, or the tried and true, like what's working for folks? Yeah. So for men, the gains wave, uh, shock wave treatments yeah. continue to stun me with their efficacy even for people who have had intractable erectile dysfunction. Um, but now I was recently in this, I, I went to this fancy event. It was very, very rich people there. And we were being bussed in this black limo bus to Bill, Dan Bilzerian's mansion. He's that player on Instagram that has like a zillion followers mm. and he's, um, we went to his mansion for this big event. And so I was sitting in the front seat of the bus uh, and I was listening to, to men behind me talk and they're all very wealthy. And um, they were talking about how they were getting gains waves and they were saying, you know, oh yeah, yeah, man, I, I go in every year for a tune up, you know, and it just keeps me so rock solid and, you know, that kind of thing. And I thought to myself, it's just so funny now to hear how really rich people they they don't take for granted that they're going to have their erectile function. These were young men. These were bodybuilders. They had made mm. their money in uh, kind of like the bodybuilding health world. Yeah. They happen to be a couple Canadian guys. Uh, big, you know, they were famous. And um, I heard them talking about just chatting with each other. And here they were on this bus talking about how they kept their erectile function as solid as the rest of their body. Yeah, And I thought that was a real pivotal moment because I've been a big supporter of Gaines Wave for years now because it has helped so many of the men who are my fans and followers. And um, just to hear it like so casually being talked about by these young buff 40 year old guys, it's like, this is just what they do every year. They go in for a Gaines Wave tune up. And yeah. I thought, well, it, you know, it, it really, it gets a hold. And now people are like, this is just, you know, what I do part of the vernacular. Um, you know, on that, I, recently I had a, an interesting discussion with a couple where, um, you know, they he was having erectile dysfunction and they were going to do a, a whole series of the Gaines Wave. And yeah. um, his wife got some cold feet around it because she was afraid that if he became better sexually or more performance that he would stop loving her and leave her for someone else. And I thought, well, this is an interesting discussion to get into because they hadn't been really having the intimacy that they wanted. Um, and then, you know, all of a sudden this change of like, well, he's going to get, you know, more fit and more able. And then what about me? And then is he going to still find me attractive? Uh, and, you know, what's this going to do for our marriage, you know? Uh, and so it was, but she wasn't thinking like, well, there's stuff that I can do as well, yeah. you know? 
Um, so I'm wondering if you've come across that in your couples, uh, dealing with couples and kind of ways that you navigate that. I know it's a little bit off the topic of the biohacking, but this is something that comes right up on as one, you know, with one uh, piece of the puzzle of one, one of the partners kind of taking action for their health and improving their health. And then the other one kind of wondering, well, what does that do for us, you know? Yeah. Well, most guys do not want to leave their wives. Most guys love their wives and they just want to have great sex with their wives. Yeah. It, but then most, most older couples who get divorced, it's the wife who instigates, not the husband. Mm. Most guys are really blindsided. They're like deer in headlights. Like she left me. I can't even believe it. And she was telling him for years she was going to do it. And he, he didn't even hear it. Mm. So um, that's the most common scenario, actually. So if she is worried about him leaving because he's having sex with her, what she should be worried about is he's going to leave if he can't have sex with her. Right. That's, the, that's when men leave. That's when men cheat. That's when men leave. That's when men get angry is when they can't have, when they can't make love with their wife. Yeah. So that's really the, the reality of things. Um, and I think more and more women are finally becoming aware of things like the O shot and the RF devices and the laser devices. And now, thank God, the V-Fit. I used to have to send women out to get laser treatments of their vagina to repair these mm. things. Now they can do it at home themselves for a third the price. Um, so I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'll tell you something. The world has changed now with things like the V-Fit and Gainswave and vacuum erection devices, the Whopper, the penis pump. Uh, and, and just understanding nitric oxide and just how simple it is to take a supplement. I mean, women write to me and they're like, okay, I mean, I get calls now that we've launched flow, the, the blood flow supplement for men and women. I, I'm surprised at how many women email me or call and they're like, I, I need more. Uh, I have not been this lubricated for 20 years. This mm. is a game changer for me. And all it was was just giving them some nitric oxide to get some blood flowing back into their genitals. I yeah. mean, we just, some of the stuff, I love that it's so simple. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars now. You can spend hundreds of dollars and fix your issue. So that's why I'm so glad to be out in the world talking about it. Women want to know. As soon as someone finds out what, I'm up, what I do and what I'm about, which is intimate wellness, that's what I call it. Yeah. They've got a million questions for me. And a lot of times women were in the past kind of thinking, okay, it's my hormones. I need to fix my hormones. But now women realize there's actually mechanical issues down there, you know, with the lack of blood flow, creating the atrophy and reducing lubrication and an increasing incontinence and bladder issues. And they're starting to get that too. So we just keep learning more and more and getting the, that info out there. And people are open to it and totally willing to try it. Not everybody. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are willing to let it go, uh, but a lot of people are willing to let their sex life go too. For a lot of people, it's not their priority for one yeah. reason or another. Often uh, it's, it's um, uh, religious repression uh, or uh, trauma of some kind, and they've just, they've never gotten over it or they don't even want to deal with it to get over it. But for many people now trying to live the best life they can, the biohacking movement um, there, there's been an explosion in, you know, in, in sexual remediation and rejuvenation. Which Indeed. Incredible. Yeah. Guys are getting their testosterone replaced finally, instead yeah. of turning into grumpy old women. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's for sure. Right. Uh, we've got the estrogenation of men out there. And, um, just on that topic, I'm wondering, you know, what you've, what you've experienced, are you doing any peptides or um, anything like that? Because it seems like that's really a, a really fascinating and fun up and comer, so to speak, um, in this biohacking realm and in particular in the sexual biohacking. Uh, yeah, one of the, uh, the peptide that I've been exploring uh, is PT-141. Yeah. Have you heard of it? I have. Have you tried it? I haven't. It's on my list though. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, well, PT-141, it was actually uh, discovered uh, because it uses the, uh, the melatonin um, system of um, erectile turgidity. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, instead of it using the nitric oxide system, which is what the PDE5 inhibitors use, the Viagras and Levitras and Cialises, it uses a separate pathway that we really don't know very much about yet. But it's a peptide that if you do a very simple subcutaneous injection of this peptide, you basically take a small like insulin needle and just do it right under the skin in your belly and your abdomen. Um, and then a couple of hours later, and there's an onset time. And everybody has a different onset time. Some people it happens within two hours, some people it's the next day, but it's apparently very consistent for you as an individual as to when you get the onset of erectile function using PT-141. And so what happens is it engorges the genitalia. And what I mean by that is it puts, gets blood flow to your erectile tissue in your genital system. And it does it not through the nitric oxide pathway. It does it through this melanotan pathway, the, this melanin um, the melanin is the thing that makes your skin have a brown color. It's the thing that you, uh, that makes you get tan. And the Australians actually discovered PT-141 because they were looking for something because, uh, the ozone layer is so thin down there, uh, that Australians get very sunburned. So they've got, they've got a sun issue down there and they were looking for things they could do. Could you take a pill to keep yourself from getting burned? And they were looking at the, the that melanocortisoid, <laughs> melanocortisoid is what it is. And uh, they discovered that people were getting erections from this particular peptide. So uh, there's a, a company that created a product called Addy that is a single injection of this for, don't ask me why, probably target market, uh, perimenopausal women with hypoactive sexual desire disorder, mm. which... Um, they, you can get your doctor to give you this prescription and you give yourself this injection. And then within a certain number of hours, you get this genital flushing, this genital engorgement, which then makes you feel like you're turned on. So you have more sexual desire. It's, um, you know, vaginal lubrication and sexual desire are two entirely separate systems in your body, but women, when they have more lubrication, they feel more desire. And what's very interesting about PT-141 is for many men who have trouble achieving an erection through the PDE5 channel, the Viagra Levitra Cialis channel, um, this particular peptide can work for them. So for men who've tried the PDE5s and it doesn't work, I, I say to them, well, give PT141 a try and see if, it, if that particular pathway is one that Open. will work for you to give you an erection. But yeah. I always say, use a penis pump, get yeah. some gains waves take some nitric oxide, like yeah. do that first. Yeah. You know, you, you don't rely on an injection, whether a trimix injection to your, you know, penile erectile tissue or a injection in your tummy, that's frosting on the cake kind of stuff to me, do the yeah. fundamentals, which yeah. is the, take the nitric oxide, do the gains wave, do the penis pump, get a pee shot or two, you know, all, the, all those things are the things that really reverse erectile dysfunction. Yeah. But there are some, you know, everybody's physiology is so different. So the PT-141 is basically like a, horny drug that couples are taking now where they're injecting themselves and then they're waiting until they get the onset. And huh. my personal experience of it is that other than the V-Fit, which we talked about earlier in the show, which yep. is because you're inserting the V-Fit into the vaginal canal and it has the light and the warmth and the vibration, it is triggering a level of deep engorgement and blood flow into the abdominal cavity, into the pelvic bowl in a way that just external stimulation from fingers, mouths, penises, they are internal too, but typically don't last long enough to get you really engorged. Um, the V-Fit gets that internal engorgement in a way that's been missing for women. Mm. ever and the pt141 does that same thing it gets that all that erectile tissue inside the vulva engorged so for women who maybe have struggled to have orgasms from intercourse without any uh you know additional um stimulation if they just wanted to 
have a climax from making love, from penetration mm -hmm. only. Um, this, the VFIT is a great way, the PT-141. It's an interesting thing to try because you're getting what you need, which is blood flow yeah. into all that tissue. Because the women have pound for pound, inch for inch, as much genital erectile tissue as our male body partners do, but nobody thinks about it with women. So we've got the clitoral head, the clitoral shaft, the crora, the legs that drape over the opening to the vagina, the vestibular bulbs, which are like little punching bags that drape down uh, underneath the fur on each side of the vaginal opening. We've got the urethral sponge that travels the length of the inside of the roof of the vaginal canal. We've got the perineal sponge that's on the floor of the vaginal canal between the vaginal canal and the rectum. All of that is erectile. And when women are pleasuring or being pleasured, it's mostly clitorally focused. And mm -hmm. that's just the tip of the iceberg. What the V-Fit and what the PT-141 do is they get the iceberg erect, right? Yeah. So a man wouldn't have sex. He, it's, it, he's not so interested in having sex if he doesn't have an erection, but women are doing it all the time. And the more women understand that they need to have that genital erection as well, the more pleasure they experience because when it's, when that tissue is swollen with blood, when it's engorged, it has more surface area. So it all feels better. So you achieve more pleasure and sensation, which leads to more intense and easy orgasm. So the PT-141 is interesting because it's not necessarily like making you feel horny. It is a little because you're feeling the sensations of the engorgement. And that's kind of what turns you on. So it gets all that tissue engorged. Yeah. It may be when you do PT-141, the first time as a woman you've ever gotten fully engorged. Wow. You've ever felt what it feels like to be completely aroused from, from all that blood flow. I know. Yeah. So yeah, that's a biohacking peptide that I've been monkeying around with. Cool. It makes I'm you really... nauseous though. It makes you nauseous. Yeah. That's a downside to it. You, you get really nauseous. So then, so then, so you're getting all really nauseous and then you're getting all engorged and then you're like, Oh, I hope I don't throw up when we have sex. <laughs> Like, yeah, that's a little bit of a turn off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it tends to go. And if you take, um, you know, like Pepsi or something like that, mm. my Lanta or something like Some that. Some anti-nausial. And yeah, take that when you do the injection. And if you feel nauseous, take some more. And then mm. you should be able to get through it. And then you'll have all that engorgement. And then when you make love, it feels really, really good. Way better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it usually lasts for two days so i was gonna ask on, how long does that last for yeah, yeah it usually lasts for a while so you could probably plan on potentially having a couple of love makings it's like a good weekend recreational peptide sexual biohacking you know fun adventure i suppose sounds like a great weekend it does uh, <laughs> Well, th thank you for answering that one. I know that was, I kind of just threw that one in, but, uh, you know, I've been learning a ton about the peptides and putting those in, in the practice here. And so yeah. it's really, um, you know, I knew, I figured you'd be out on that front edge of use and understanding of those. So thank you for that. Um, well, can I say yeah. one more thing about that? Please. Um, I've been taking the alpha thymosin, uh, yes. which uh, is an injection uh, to try to get through this virus. And um, I also have been using um, the zinc thymosin on my hair, on mm. my scalp uh, for hair growth. That's another peptide that's very interesting to me. Yeah, so. I too am doing the alpha thymosin right now. And then, um, you know, the next one I'm gonna do is the CJC um, just for general longevity stuff. But uh, mm -hmm. well, I think I'll, now you mentioned the PT-141, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Well, and what one of the things about nitric oxide that I really like is that it actually helps extend telomere length. Um, yeah. Your telomeres get stunted with a lack of nitric oxide. So that's another reason I like the flow supplement. I mean, if you don't get oxygenation all through your tissue, you, you, your mitochondrial uh, throughput is lower. So, well, let's talk about that. So the next question I had for you, what botanicals work for sexual energy? Oh my God, this yes. is like my sweet spot. I'm so glad you asked me about that. Yes. 
Um, you have such good questions for me. I Thank love you. it. <laughs> um, well, I studied a lot of data and um, I looked at three things. I looked at um, ancestral wisdom. What did mm -hmm. indigenous people take for libido? Because people have wanted to feel hornier for eons. Everybody always wants to feel hornier because when you feel hornier, you just feel more turned on for life. I mean, yeah. arousal and turn on is lust for life. It's not just lust, it's lust for life. Yeah. So everybody wants to feel a little bit more horny and turned on. And um, I looked at ancestral wisdom and there's a lot of stuff out there, you know, ginseng and you name it. And then I looked at animal studies. There's a lot of rat studies and hey, rat studies are okay. And, you know, I've looked at in vivos and rat studies and things like that. And they're all, you know, they're good. They're interesting. They're, they're like leading indicator type of things. But then I looked at, okay, well, what's actually been tested on humans in yeah. human trials on peoples? <laughs> cause I like that better. Cause I'm not a rat. <laughs> yeah. And I came out with there are five supplements, five botanicals, herbals, uh, and they are really the ones that have kind of fit all those categories. They've got a lot, they've got plenty of studies. They've, some of them even have studies on men and women. A lot of stuff is studied only on men, but mm -hmm. remember going back to, we have as much erectile tissue as men do and erectile tissue and blood flow is ground zero for sexual health. So knowing that and knowing everything I know about blood flow and erectile tissue and anatomy and all those kinds of things, I also looked at libido botanicals and I said, okay, well, some of these are blood flow oriented and some of them are hormone oriented and some of them are just kind of generally, they make people feel hornier <laughs> Yeah. and there's no, they don't know why, but they have impact on them. And I also noticed that a lot of the ones that kind of went through all the gates, you know, had all the stuff up to human trials, also had a lot of effect, not just on um, hormone production, but also on co cholesterol and glu glucose management. Mm, so yeah. blood fat and sugar. So what are we back to? Blood. Mm -hmm. back to how healthy is your blood? I mean, it's just so interesting to see how it all comes around to blood flow, no matter what you're really talking about. Is yeah, it really the does. Stasis of the blood. Yeah. So um, here are the five. One of them is maca. Maca is a Peruvian root vegetable. And here's the other thing that's interesting. Um, a lot of them, a lot of these botanicals are from different parts of the world. So people found the plant in their area that made them feel horny. <laughs> <laughs> and it usually worked on multiple dimensions. It usually worked, uh, a lot of them are polyphenol based or they have saponins in them or saponins in them mm -hmm. or procyanidins, which is a, 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 it's like a tannin, like a bitter, which is interesting too. So there's tribulus terrestris, there's fenugreek, that's the Ayurvedic one. And there's uh, Tonkara Lee, which is also called Eurocomia longifolia. Uh, that's the, the one that's from the um, Southeast Asian area. So you've got your Indian one, you've got your Southeast Asian one, and you've got your Mediterranean one, right? So tribulus is your Mediterranean one. Uh, so those are three vines and flowers or roots. Some of it, the Tonkat, they use the root, actually. And then maca from South America, that's the Peruvian, it's like a Peruvian potato, basically. Hmm. Uh, you know, it's like a, a kind of a hard vegetable. The maca is an adapt, these are all adaptogenic herbs as well, which is what's good with hormone regulation, cortisol regulation, they calm you down. Like you can't get turned on if you're stressed out. So they tend to be adaptogenic in the calming way. And um, cacao, chocolate. Hmm chocolate it's the polyphenols in chocolate mm -hmm. that give you the blood flow so uh those are the ones that of all of them i mean ginseng sure it's good you know, ginger yeah yeah it's good turmeric yeah yeah it's fine but these are the ones that hit all the gates for the man the woman human studies not just rat in vivo ancestral all around cool. the world oh, yep. those are the happy five love it those are, that's awesome. Thanks for doing that work. And I'm guessing that's what you put in the flow. Is that, oh, is that what you have on there? Uh-oh, can't hear me. Let's see. Hello. One, two, three. Can't hear me. Uh-oh, I don't know what happened. I'm here. Um, well, I am guessing that that is what you put in 
on in your product. Let's see here. Can't hear me. Shoot, technical difficulties. Um, all right, well, we're still live on the air. Let's see, I'll go over here. Hmm, not sure what changed. I'll ask the question here. <laughs> I'm guessing you put those in your product. So let's see here. I'm hoping you can see the chat box. So look at the chat box, chat box. <laughs> can I have you come up? I'm not sure what happened to the thing. Um, we'll go right over there. My producer still on the line. We'll kind of, we're coming down to, uh, <laughs> can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah. Can you get that? Um, so last 15, let's have you talk about the flow, the flow product. Boom. So we're close. I'm not sure what happened to the volume over there. Oh, now you're, now you're muted. Um, let's see. Susan is muted. Shoot. Thanks for bearing with me, everybody. This is What the Health. Dr. Greg Eckel here. Uh, and we are having a little tef technical difficulties. I've got Susan Bratton on the line. You are muted now. Um, I'll ask you here. I'll, I'll send you a little text. I'll text you. We'll finish the, uh, the thing. So let's see here. Interesting times. So. We're still on, boom, I'm asking, asking about your flow product. <laughs> so thanks for bearing on here. Uh, yeah, coming in, sent you a note. Oh, you're, oh, you're powering up, I see. <laughs> so uh, let's see, you're still muted. I'm not sure, maybe Cameron, can you unmute her on her end there? Um, okay, got it. Yep, got it. Got it. Um, how about your top five herbs in your product? We'll start there. Um, we could hear you. Uh, you are muted. <laughs> shoot we were going so well had such a good string here on the on the live show uh so we're gonna hang in there we've got um looks like maybe oh connecting via audio coming over this way okay yes. now i can hear you yeah awesome oh great yes for some reason you know you're you got muted over on that side but we've got you there ingenious so i was yeah. asking on your um on the top five herbs, I'm guessing you put those in flow, your product there. What I did, thank you. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, that's great. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, it doesn't show any muting on my side. Uh, okay. It didn't earlier, but no no worries. Uh, yeah, so what I did was I actually kept flow um, completely for blood flow and put antioxidants in it and pine bark in it for the tannins, the procyanidins. So that that's your, essentially your stack with mm. a vitamin mineral complex with the libido supplement in it as a separate supplement because I couldn't fit all that stuff into capsules. Uh, and so what I did was instead of just giving you 300 milligrams of tribulus, tonkatali, fenugreek all in one, I kept them separate because I mm. wanted people to be able to say, okay, which one of these makes me feel what? Uh, for some people, they feel they have more um, sexual thoughts and fantasies, like they think about sex more on one versus the other versus the other. Other people notice that they have more physical desire. For other people, they report, depending on which one they're taking, uh, they feel more pleasure during lovemaking. It actually increases the sensation of pleasure 
So these are some of the different things that you'll find depending on which one you're taking at the time. And the thing about libido botanicals that's interesting is herb cycling. Mm. If you take the same thing all the time, you it loses its efficacy. So what I did was I said every month, take a different one of the three and rotate through them. So the first month, take Tonkat Ali. The second month, take Tribulus. The third month, take Fenugreek. But the biggest issue that I see with people that follow me who are, they tend to be 35 to 75, men and women alike who value their intimacy. Um, what they weren't doing was taking their multivitamins. So they weren't getting enough vitamin D, enough vitamin E, enough vitamin C, enough boron. I mean, you can't make testosterone if you can't get the protein molecule decoupled so that you have free testosterone. So people were missing their minerals and the things mm. that they needed to, to actually be uh, functionally to have good functional nutrition. Yeah. So I said, all right, well, let's make the same exact vitamin mineral in each one of the three, but then you just, you are always taking your vitamin mineral, but each month you're switching up to a different libido botanical. So you get your herb rotation, but you always get your fundamental micronutrients and minerals. And so that's how I decided to do it. And so you can take flow with your daily vitamin mineral that has the libido kicker in it. And that way couples can also share these things. We are more alike than we are different. Testosterone is the molecule of desire and both women and men need it to feel that desire. So uh, I like something that you can throw on your counter and you can both take, you know, Hey honey, did you take your vitamins? <laughs> yeah. So that's how I ended up producing it in the way that I did. Love it. Oh, that's great. Um, so I figured you had a method to the madness there. So do you have each of those five herbs? Do you have those in a separate, you have those separately or do you have people get those elsewhere? Uh, so the drive has the Tonkat Ali in it. Got it. And then the boost has the fenugreek in it. And then desire has the tribulus in it. And the maca and cacao, you need to take about three grams mm -hmm. of maca for it to be, you'd have to take effective six, six capsules of that. So what I yep. say to people is get a good organic maca, yep. put it in your morning smoothie. Perfect. And then every day, eat a piece, eat a nice square of dark chocolate. You don't <laughs> need to have those in your vitamin. One, you'd have to take too many capsules. It's no good. So blend the maca in. And that way you're stacking, you're having your morning smoothie with all your greens and all your good stuff in it, throw your maca in there, eat your chocolate. Why would you want to put that in a pill? Yeah, why, why, why mess around with that? Like, let's eat that. That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> so we are, we're coming up to the last couple minutes of the show. Any last parting wisdom for the viewers and listeners of What the Health? Yeah. So I think the most important thing to remember is that sex begins with relaxation. And we're in a very stressful time right now. Many of us are quarantined at home. We're feeling guilty because we're not having sex or we're, you know, just stressed out. And so we're not having sex. Maybe we're frustrated that we're not having sex and take it back, take a step back and spend time holding each other. Think about holding and calming each other. Think about being intimate and close and think about just what I like to call co-regulating your, mm. you know, your energy, if you will. Remember why you love this person. Stop thinking, I have to have sex and start thinking, I'm going to take comfort in the arms of my partner. Mm. When you stop thinking about the end game and you begin at the beginning as just two people who love each other through difficult times, then that calms you down and allows you to even think about taking the next step toward intimacy. So there's enough pressure on all of us everywhere that we don't need more pressure. So the way to do it is to go back to ground one, which is holding and loving each other. And then things will naturally bubble up from there. 
Don't feel like you have to do everything all at once. And remember that there are four kinds of touch. There's nurturing touch, healing touch, sensual touch, and sexual touch. And it's good to start with nurturing and healing and loving and calming and getting each other relaxed before you move into sensual and then sexual touch. Just take that deep breath and that step back to connect before you put pressure on. Lovely. Thank you, Susan Bratton, for coming on What the Health. I know you're a fan favorite of the show. Great <laughs> to see you uh, and your sage advice and the, the topic of sexual biohacking uh, today. If you missed it, it's naturecuresclinic.com backslash podcast. Uh, folks, please share us with your loved ones. This is how we change the world. So again, Susan, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, what the Health, we are here Tuesdays. 2 to 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tune in, folks.